Hello everyone and welcome to GTA Online Racing episode 28 and we've got a bit of news in this one which is quite important and it really does change the, the scope of how we uh, how we race on GTA. And that news is that spoilers now increase traction. So putting a spoiler on your car will actually increase the traction stat on the bar in Los Santos Customs. As you can see here there's Entorno without a uh, spoiler and then when you put a spoiler on it the traction bar increases. Now before we've only had the acceleration and brakes bars increase, but now the traction bar can be modified as well. Now it doesn't matter which spoiler you put on, um, all the spoilers will put the same amount of extra traction on, and if it's anything like any of the other mods, it will always be a percentage increase. So those with more traction will get more traction from it, if you like. So it basically, it's rewarding cars that have this spoiler available to it, because cars that don't have the spoiler available to them now are at a severe disadvantage as you can see here you know the the elegy with the spoiler on as soon as you go to take the spoiler off you get a lot less traction um, and i'll show you the same with the massacre now this is quite a significant increase i've always said that traction is one of the most important parts of uh, gta online racing in terms of having a fast car and even the small amounts of traction that you're seeing here have significant effects as you see, I'm going to show this first uh, this first lap around cutting corners in a massacre without a spoiler, um, and then I'll show a lap after with the spoiler, and you'll be able to see physically the difference. Um, you'll also see in the time that I get, but you'll be able to see how with the spoiler on you can just take corners a lot quicker. So this lap without the spoiler at the moment is what the massacre would have done. Um, before the title update 1.14 even with a spoiler so it's basically if you want the cars to act how they acted before the update you would have to remove all the spoilers now a lot of people probably won't be aware of this because they just leave spoilers on their cars and overall it doesn't really make that much of a difference in terms of you know how how you're going to your garages are going to be sorted out or anything like that but it just means that all of the cars are going a lot quicker and the lap records are tumbling on all of the circuits for example, the Los Santos Grand Prix circuit, my circuit, which my crew tend to go around and hot lap, um, the quickest lap time there with a Zentorno before this update was a 1 minute 39, and now since the update it's a 1 minute 35, So, and that will probably come down as well. So just by having this change, this little change in traction with a spoiler, um, it means that the Zentorno lap time on Las Santos Grand Prix has dropped by 4 seconds, and that is major, that is a lot of lap time to drop. So it, they really do have a significant effect and it really does show just how important traction is. So basically what's happened is that it's just made all cars with spoilers a lot quicker than what they were. And especially in the case of the Zentorno, it's getting a lot closer lap times to what bikes can get. Now it doesn't affect top speed or any other stats putting a spoiler on, all it does is just give you more traction. Um, and this is why I always test all my cars in their stock uh, varieties because you know you never know what changes they're going to make. They might even make, bring out spoilers for all of those cars without them. Um, you know you just don't know what they're going to do and no changes have actually been made to the cars themselves. All of the cars are exactly the same, it's just this difference in spoilers that have uh, made, made the difference really. So there are only really a few classes that this is going to affect because the majority of classes have their fastest cars already have spoilers in the first place. Now the sports classics with the Z type that doesn't matter because the Monroe doesn't have a spoiler available to it and the Pagali even with a spoiler is only on the pace of the Monroe. The, um, the SUVs with the Huntley that doesn't matter because none of the SUVs or the SUVs have spoilers the Huntley is still the top dog there. Um, now the Compacts is one that actually has a bit of a difference because the, the Rhapsody, which, is, which was very close to the blister in the first place, has a spoiler available to it and that actually gives it a lot more traction and that makes it the quickest compact car in the game. It does really do, it really does beat the blister um, and as you'll see on this lap time, I get a better lap time than the time that I got with the blister in the fastest fully update upgraded cars video a while back, I think that was episode 13. So the Rhapsody is actually now the fastest car in the game, uh, the fastest compact car in the game. Now the Panto does get a bit of benefit from the spoiler as well, but it isn't on the pace of the Rhapsody, it's about on the same pace as the blister when fully modded. So all of the cars that we found to be the fastest in each class all remain the same because they all have spoilers available to them or as in the case with the Z type their opponents don't have spoilers available to them. So they're all the same apart from the compacts where the Rhapsody is now the quickest. However there is one that is very very different and that is the Coupes class. 
Now, just to point out that at the moment I am only talking about the fastest car in each class. Obviously, the 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 differences between the lists of say you know the the banshee might get higher up in a few positions when fully modded or something like that now um you know these things are all a little bit different but in terms of the absolute fastest car in each class they're generally remaining the same apart from this one that i'm about to talk about obviously rockstar may change it again they may add spoilers for classes that cars that don't have them we just don't know um so we, we should only focus on the fastest car in each class at this point to keep it as uh, simple and easy to digest as possible so the fastest coupe and by extension the fastest four-door car was always the exemplar and that was always by a country mile it was easily the quickest by a long long way over anything else but the exemplar doesn't have a spoiler available to it now the felon which pretty much was the uh, the, the closest the closest thing to the exemplar in the coupe's class does have a spoiler available to it and it gives it actually more traction than what the exemplar originally had now when I've just done a little bit of testing as you're seeing here with the felon the lap times are incredibly close in terms of the single lap and I just did a random five laps around cutting corners as well and the lap times are almost identical there's only a three tenths of a second difference in terms of the total time after five minutes um, between the two classes and you'll see that I'll put the uh, I'll put the lap times up so you can see that so the, the felon now is very, very close to the exemplar and they're almost identical in terms of lap times, but more testing would have to be done to actually find out which is the, the ultimately quicker one. Um, but it, it, uh, it's made the coupes class a lot closer and possibly the Zion might get a bit of a boost from this as well, although it is a bit slow in the straight line. So that the coupes class is wide open at this point. It, it, it's impossible to know really which is the, the fastest with, without doing some more testing. And I intend to sort of produce an update video. Obviously, the episode 13 of this series was the fastest fully upgraded uh, cars video, and that was kind of that's kind of outdated now. Um, I plan to do sort of a roundup of the fastest fully upgraded cars. Uh, if you've been following what I've been doing, you know it's not going to be any news. But uh, yeah, I'll do a bit more testing on the coupes to find out which is the quicker. But the felon and the exemplar are very close at this point, so the coupes class is very open. Um, and I would say that uh, it, it's probably the most open class at this point, point ironically. It's gone from being the absolute most dominant to the, the most open. Um, and in terms of the fastest four-door car, it's difficult to know whether that's the exemplar anymore. Obviously, it could be the felon, but it could also be the sultan, because that has a spoiler, or the new Buffalo S. We just don't know at this point. So Rockstar have really thrown a spanner in the works, really, to be honest, with these spoilers. Um, they've, they've changed something quite major. Uh, it's made all cars a lot quicker, and it's kind of changed the, the complexion of, uh, of the lists, possibly, in, in some areas. So we'll wait and see what they do. We'll see if they add spoilers for all other cars as well, and then it will just revert everything back to normal. Um, but I'll also, you know, do a bit of testing behind the scenes and try and bring you guys as much information about it as I possibly can. But at the moment, you don't need to change anything in your garages. Um, they're all the same, apart from the Rhapsody in the uh, the Compact class. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Be sure to leave a like if you uh, did, and leave all your comments about this change down below. The I'm Not A Hipster update discussion video will be out tomorrow. Um, I could have got this video out a bit earlier, but I wanted to focus on the, uh, the, the I'm Not A Hipster update cars. Um, so, yeah, I'll uh, get that out for you tomorrow, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.